Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Jacob Bricker alongside Amanda Bias Snyder, and these are your morning announcements. The Greater Latrobe baseball team will once again be collecting toys for Todd's for the, with the Marines. Toys must be new, unopened, and cannot be wrapped. You can give your donations to any player or coach, drop them off in H204 or the high school office. All donations are due by Monday, December 14th. Attention seniors, the yearbook staff is needed for need of old pictures for the now and then spread. Please email or bring in old pictures of yourself or a group of students. Pictures can be emailed or given to Mrs. Butler or any member of the yearbook staff. The yearbook staff is in need of pictures from the summer. Pictures can be shared using the HJE Share app or they can be emailed to Mrs. Butler or any member on the yearbook staff. Photos are needed by December 5th. In addition, the yearbook staff is in need of pictures from Snapchat of you and your friends. Pictures can be serious, funny, or whatever. Email your pictures to Matt Kemmerer. The library has even more electronic bits now available, and they will be out for use all this week. Some products allow you to connect the internet to everyday objects. There is also a NASA space kit. Or maybe you'd like to try your hand with electronic bits to make motion capable in light of products, like a robot that can draw. Visit the library any day this week for special demonstrations and assistance. Any time throughout the year that you would like to use the materials, just ask. Also, in case you haven't noticed yet, the library has crafting supplies such as yarn and knitting needles, origami paper, and more. The Interact Club will be holding a chocolate-covered pretzel sale after school today to benefit the Latrobe Rotary Club's backpack program. The chocolate-covered pretzel sale will be in both the commons area and the gym lobby. Pretzels will be $2 for a bag of two pretzels. On Friday, December 11th, the German Club will host its first annual Christmas party. If you are a member of the German Club, or if you are currently taking German classes, sign up with Mr. Kiefer. There will be a cookie baking contest, arts and crafts, games, and Christmas music. Student Council will be sponsoring two events to generate some holiday spirit. The first event is a holiday door decorating contest. Each classroom door is eligible to participate. Doors can be decorated by specific classes or homerooms, but must be decorated in a holiday theme. The contest will run from December 7th through December 11th. The doors will be judged during period 11 on Friday, December 11th. The classrooms with the top three doors will receive a prize. The second event Student Council is sponsoring will be a Wish Week. Would you like Starbucks for you and two friends? How about donuts for your entire homeroom or maybe a reserved parking spot for the day? This event is a chance for students to receive a special wish that will be granted the week of December 14th through the 18th. To submit your wish request, stop by the student store between December 7th and December 11th. The cost is $2 per wish submission and there is a $20 limit on each wish. There will be a minimum of one wish granted each day, but more may be granted if we have enough students participating. Wishes will be randomly selected and must be school appropriate. The Drama Club is getting ready to host its annual cabaret. If you are interested in performing, there will be a brief meeting in the auditorium on Monday, December 7th at 2.45 p.m. This meeting should only be 15 minutes long. A sign-up sheet will be posted outside Mr. Crack's room, H106. There will be a mandatory meeting for anyone planning on trying out for the baseball team this year. It will be on Thursday the 10th in H204 at 7 a.m. Anyone that is thinking about trying out this year, even if you are in a winter sport right now, must be there. The Backyard Brawl fitness event was a huge success. Here are some highlights. Um, it was really fun. It was nice having uh, uh, the partner workouts. It was pretty cool. Um, having the kids from other schools come and compete against them was also cool. The most challenging aspect was probably the sleds, sled pushes at the end.
For WCAT TV, this has been Amanda Bias Snyder and Jacob Ricker. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Stay tuned for another episode of Jim and Tim in the Morning.